Hello everyone, this is Damon with PixNub Software. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the zooming and positioning inside of the Portrait Crop plugin. So I've got two images here, and one was shot in vertical mode, and one was shot in horizontal mode. And I'm just going to run both of these in Portrait Crop and explain how the zooming and positioning works. So the first thing to understand about Portrait Crop is it works on face detection. And it doesn't matter really where the face is in the image or how far you're zoomed in or out because Portrait Crop is going to find the face and then calculate the size of the face and then base the cropping around the face. So it's probably easiest just to demonstrate here by first going to the face recognition preset and all this preset does is set the settings for your zooming and positioning it's just a quick way to check to see how well it's recognizing the face in the image so this puts the zoom at 200 and it puts the X and Y coordinates at 50 50 and it also sets the crop to a square crop so you'll always see um, spacing on each side of the face with this preset because nobody's face is square but what you want to look for is to make sure that the um, size of the head roughly fills the um, frame from top to bottom so from the chin to the top of the head is roughly where you'll be at a zoom of 200 now the zoom factor it goes 18 to 200 I'm just going to demonstrate here I'll zoom all the way out now of course um, we've got some empty pixels here because when we zoom this far out the original shot was zoomed in closer than we're zooming here but I made this 18 to 200 because it sort of simulates um, camera zoom from 18 to 200 although don't get too caught up in that um, what 200 is is that's reference to the size of the the um, head like I mentioned and then everything is referenced around that and the X and Y positions these are coordinate based and they're percentage based so 50 50 means the center of the face is 50 percent along the X or horizontal axis where that's centered and then it's 50 percent on the Y so the center of the face is the center um, of the crop here I'm just going to apply a different preset here we'll just go to one of the headshot presets and you see now the face is 70% on the Y and 50% on the X. So that's 70% up from the bottom to the top and 50% left to right. And I'll show you here if we move the Y position up as far as it'll go to 90. It's now 90% on the Y position and 50% on the X. And if I move this to 20, I'm just doing this to demonstrate of course you wouldn't probably set up a portrait like this but now you're 20% on the X and 90% on the Y and if I zoom in or out we're still maintaining the center of the face with that same coordinate system so everything is referenced to the position of the face and that's an important concept because when you're setting up your portraits you need to know where you want to put the, the face and then also the, the zoom but everything is still referenced to the center of that face so I'm just going to go back to the um, we'll use the headshot distance preset here I'm just going to apply this so this was the um, landscape image and then we ran portrait crop and this is the result we got I'm now going to go to the other image we had which was shot um, vertically and I'm going to run portrait crop again and then I'm just going to run that same preset 
So now you see that the two different images, the um, crop is pretty much identical. I mean, you might see a slight bit of variation image to image, but it's going to get you know pretty close. So when you're running a batch of images, it doesn't matter um, how far you were zoomed in or out, or even if you shoot vertical or horizontal, portrait crop is going to take all that variation out and give you repeatable portraits. Now I'm also going to just real quickly demonstrate that if you were to zoom in more in, in camera, so I'm going to crop this, so if you were to shoot it, let's say a lot more zoomed in here in the camera, and then if you run portrait crop, and then let's run that same preset again, and apply that, you see we still get the same exact crop because it's taking all the variation out of how the image was shot and basing everything around the size of the face it detects and then zooming and positioning, positioning according to that. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you're interested at all in the Portrait Crop plugin, please be sure to visit our website that is pixnub.com.